Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of 28th and Jefferson. Man CTV is in the building. We are here for season two. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your comments, your emails, any more topics you have, more guests you want to see on the show. Just let us know. So with no further ado, let's start the show. you being on the show today and we appreciate you giving us the opportunity to interview you find out what you got going on next and tell us about some things you've had going on in the past so Doug you want to start so let's start them off CKDO All they right. know around the city the clothing brand we're talking about 2009 mm-hmm. when established and got going tell them about CKDO man what did this come about back okay so uh, it's kind of started when I was in college uh-huh. I went to Alabama A&M. So, yeah, 2009, I'm kind of thinking, like, I don't really want to be here. <laughs> they said it's popping on now. I mean, it's cool. <laughs> like, cool. like the Shout culture. out to Bams and <laughs> A&M. Like, the culture and everything, like, that was that was cool. But when mm-hmm. it comes to, like, just sitting in a class, you don't really want to be there. Mm-hmm. So, it's just like, man, I'm here physically. Mm-hmm. Mentally. mentally somewhere. I'm like, I'm not here. So, I felt like a dropout in my mind. Well, what'd you decide to do from there? I mean, you got this brilliant idea that would start off with you or the people? What, what sparked it for you? I mean, going to LA mm. and like just kind of like the internet, just being on the internet 24 7, streetwear mm. culture. Um, when I went out there, it just kind of made sense to like, you know, this is what I want to do. Mm. I went for spring break, and then after that, I was going to like a 3 c festival like early in South by Southwest. Shout like in 2008, 9, mm-hmm. 10, I was going real early and I kind of knew what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what does CKDO stand for? College Kids and Dropouts. I kind of hate it. College hate that Kids and Dropouts. Yeah. That's real powerful when you think about it because, you know, you got a lot of college kids, you got a lot of college dropouts. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people have, you know, the same experience with college that you did. Like, they'll get in there and be like, man. That was me. I was in there like, I'm wasting so much fucking money. I'm just sitting in here like, exactly. I'm in the classroom, but I'm doing dance moves in my head. You know? <laughs> I'm like, I need to be somewhere else. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm wasting money every day. So like, so many people can relate to that. Mm-hmm. You know, do you have a lot of supporters when it comes to your brand? I do. I got a good core following. I'm like, there's a lot of people have been rocking with me for mm-hmm. like a long Leads. time, and I appreciate that. You know, I'm, you get new people, and mm-hmm. it's dope. For them to find out. As far as brand ambassadoring goes, like, like brand ambassadors, like how do you, you know, recruit people to rock your gear? Or do people like come to you and ask you about it? Or you see someone that has like a big following and then you know reach out to them? How does that work? Man, it kind of just come my way or come our way from whether if we're doing pop up shops, mm-hmm. Trip Friday, that kind of always helps our brand kind of grow mm-hmm. locally. But when we travel, and we represent that always gets new followers, mm-hmm. which is dope. Dope. Okay. So with that, what has brought on the clothing line into Trap Friday? Because I done been to a few exactly. few Trap Fridays, 
And I remember going one time, they got some violence, some mm -hmm. things transpired. And then another time it was just so chill and everybody was vibed out. And it still kept going. I was in the beginning stages. And then mm -hmm. it grew to people just coming out, celebrating. It was festive. It was birthday, graduation, you come to Trap Friday. Then yeah. it was just, man, if you had nothing else to do on Friday, you better make sure you was at Trap Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. So it's been years of Trap Friday, man. So what, from the clothing brand line, what expanded that to, we got a whole event series. What brought that about? Like how you did know, they tie into each other? It was me and the homies chilling. More, like we just at the crib kicking it home girls then we want to go to the club and they don't let us in mm. so it's just kind of like they mad about them sneakers they be turning about yeah. t-shirts hats came with no fitted and uh, yeah. exactly you know what i mean so we was just like the dress code we just gonna create some mm -hmm. honestly the name trap friday was just like it just sounded cool and we just stuck with it and we just did it at the crib mm. then there was this dude named alizano I don't know if y'all know him, but he managed uh -huh. a few artists. Mm -hmm. He's a cool, okay. cool, cool. He just let us kind of trap his house out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how it started. He kind of showed us the way. Him and Love Noise. Okay. okay shout, shout out to Love, Love Noise. Noise and yeah. Al. Mm -hmm. Shout out. Okay. So, with that being said, as far as CKDO, you know, of course, college kids and dropouts. Not only college kids and dropouts can only wear your gear, mm -hmm. but do you have, you know, people who have never attended college or, you know, aren't even in college yet, they want, like, to wear your gear? Do you like a lot of people like that? Yeah, I kind of like, I, I kind of like that it kind of, like, everybody wants to be a part of mm -hmm. it. That they might not even went to school, but they kind of know, because at the end of the day, even if you, uh, di you, you didn't, like, attend school, mm -hmm. you know somebody that either went to school or dropped out. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Everybody can, like, can relate to it. And when was CKDO established? Like, how did it come about? Oh, what oh, year? You know, oh, nine. Oh, nine. Oh, I, was, I was probably like 20, 21. No, 20. Yeah, I was 21. Okay. 21, I was nine, yeah, eight years ago. Mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> 30, 30 now, but um, it was just the, like, yeah, I was like, this is what I want to do. And it was a blog first, so mm -hmm. I was just post on artists, you know, people that rap and mm -hmm. stuff like that and just traveling and I got a lot of, you know, stuff on my computer with just blog material, getting shout outs, people rap rapping CKDO. Yeah, yeah. That's dope. Mm -hmm. So from there, like we in now 2018, what's next? What's coming up with? Don't tell everybody. Don't tell your like, secrets, but give us something to look forward to. You all are still a movement to. in the city. Yeah. Still the brand, still the name. Got on my homie. Oh, uh, young Zach on there. Oh, uh, young Walt on there. Yeah. Shout out er to Walt. Shout er everybody Zach. working hard. Yeah. For the CKDO brand. What, what so what's doing? next for CKDO? Is we kind? I don't know how much longer like Truck Friday is gonna keep on going. Why I not? I think we might move into like another direction with that. Okay. That works. As far as like demographics and age groups. Demographics. We might go younger. You know what I mean? Because the yeah. older you get, people get married. And they're not going oh, yeah. to the club. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, but think about it. You might want to go the older, you know what I mean? And kind of mature and spice it up. Because these days, the club scene, the, you know, out scene, whatever you want to call it, they're getting rowdy. So mm -hmm. not saying, you know, it's a lot more, less violence the older you go. Mm -hmm. So you might want to mature CKDO. Yeah, that's you true. You know what I mean? You might want to reach out to that age group and do something real formal you never know i don't know if it will go formal though you don't know if you would i mean you could still you know i might rock i might out. i might we might do something where it's just like fully dedicated to the ladies you know, hey. like, you hey. know what i mean you know like, i'm always off with it see, see. <laughs> ladies first. i'm always off with it ladies first you know yeah. uh what's next so we got a lot of like stuff going on we got while he's DJing. Mm -hmm. Then he just do like, he did a set, like his first DJ and set was like this year. Like, yeah. I That's missed, cool. I was out of town, but I heard he, about he, him. Like, uh, shout out to Delisha. Oh, shout out to Delisha. We love her. Two hours on the cloud. She invited Walt to uh, DJ uh, at her last, one of her last events mm -hmm. that she was a part of. Mm -hmm. That was Walt's first time DJing. Mm -hmm. I know he should. And for her to reach out, she like, I know he should. She got to have the best of the best. Yeah. So for she had to really have some eyes on him. Like, yeah. hey, I'm going to give you this chance. Don't fuck it up. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's serious about it. Yeah. And then, uh, man, me and uh, 
<laughs> it's funny when I think about it with me and Mike Frost. Uh, you know Mike Frost? Oh, yeah. You know, I don't oh, know yeah. Mike Frost. You don't know Mike Frost? No, I don't. I'm gonna get you on the Jimmy Wave. I'm gonna get you on the Jimmy Wave. Mike is cold, man. Like shout out Mike Flowers. Man, shout out, man. We need to meet Mike. Jimmy Wave. Jimmy Wave. Jimmy Wave. Like he produces. He does all his like you know he travels. He gets to perform in front of large crowd. Man, me and him got like thirty songs, like thirty or forty songs. It's crazy because I'm not. I don't really think myself as a rapper, but it's a hobby. Yeah, I'm just having more than a career. And we have people out here like that. Everybody doesn't have Living to like, the passion mm-hmm. out you know, be it. looking for a career, and it's just something that they love to do as like an outlet. Mm-hmm. I can totally get it. I just create. It's just another way to create, yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And uh, more clothes, more uh, experiences with like the clothing, CK, mm-hmm. CKDO, and more art projects, more uh, content, media, mm-hmm. images, kind of restructuring everything now. Yeah, cool, cool. you gotta do that when you know years come about. And you gotta figure out how to restructure, resurface, and still be successful within your business mm-hmm. because it's different people, times change, and mm-hmm. like you know, needs and wants as far as you know, clothing, seasonal clothing, whatever you know, they change. So you have to adjust to right. what people are then rocking or then looking for or then interested in. Not saying that you gotta change at what you're doing, you just have to find a different way to or a different avenue to spin it. It's still, like always it's good still make it do. lucrative. You know? It's always good to do. Yeah, I, yeah, I feel that. Yeah. So what's on? What else on your mind, man? Let's we'll see what. The, it's all about you. What you listening How you to? Been what been am I listening to? to? What you listening to? Who you listening to? Uh, right now I pulled up. When I pulled up, I was listening to Hit Boy, mm-hmm. Tony Fontana, okay. his new tape, Dom Kennedy. Dom got a new tape. Half a meal with him and Hit Boy. Mm, I'm gonna go listen and, to that. And uh, what's this last tape he dropped? Uh, I fooled La- for Don. Los Angeles isn't for sale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Listen to Fat that one's hard. Fat Man Key. I need to okay. get familiar. Okay. Fat Shout out Fat Man Key. I ain't heard the track Fat Man. I'm like Fat Man Scoop. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, that's me. You know, I'm with you. got four. <laughs> 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 that was not the way he said. Some listen to Larry June. Okay. Mm. G. Perico is another L.A. artist. That might be, I can't really think of any more. You give me like an L.A. vibe, like, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's that West Coast way. Is that where you from? Antioch. <laughs> but be on but the way. Give it but to me the the all way. day. Like, he, he would give me that West Coast vibe, that laid back, that yes, whatever, I'm cool, karma collective, but don't cross me, I'll fuck you up. You know, he gives me that all day long, so that's pretty dope. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, shit. Yeah, that's about like I, I kind of like to listen to uh, like artists that really got kind of something to say. Mm-hmm. You know, I can kind of feel them. It's a lot of going on. It's a lot, a lot of stuff going on these days. I'm trying exactly. to keep my mind clean. What stuff going on, man? Talk about it, man. In Nashville, what's going on with you, man? What were you seeing? In Nashville, man? period. Like, yeah, let's start right here, man. Man, the violence, man. I'm not, yeah, I'm not feeling it. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of wish things would change. I tweeted. The other day, man, I kind of hope people get back to uh, taking care of their health, mm-hmm. putting the guns down, talking to the ladies, and raising their kids. Mm-hmm. Pretty simple. Yeah, but it means a lot. It's a powerful message. Simple, mm-hmm. but it's easier said than done. You got any yeah. solutions, anything you want to incorporate CKDO with the community on? Anything you planning out for it? Or? Man, I, you know, I kind of want to do so. I want to give, like, even with the the lane that we're going in, I kind of want to do things where we kind of focus on putting like some workshops together, mm-hmm. create, you know, you know, giving kids like knowledge on, you know, whether how to start their brand or what to do after they get out of college. And, uh, That's a dope idea. You know, like, you know, teach them how to market things, teach them how to create, like mm-hmm. what we're doing here, just kind of get people off the streets. It's cool. You know Absolutely, I mean? we all need several outlets for these these exactly. kids right about Things now. Things like that. Because they don't have the outlets. options like we used to have. Exactly. So. Yeah. And academically, and like the the activities that they have in school are no longer serving as positive outlets. I mean, it's something to do after school. Yeah, I'm on the major at team where I play the drums and the band, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, they cut band funding. They cut everything. Everything these days. And the kids are suffering. Kids in our middle Tennessee area need 
some ideas. They need some yeah, creativity. Sure. They need some guidance. I think stuff like this is dope.